moving on to uh, Margaret Liss. Uh, you probably have, have some styler related business you'd want to talk about. And yeah, we already did that. But I forgot to send up Margaret Liss's question for last month. Bad interim editor. No swordfish for you. So we got to do that first or really soon thereafter. Margaret Liss wants to know uh, their two tracing paper drawings you sent her. Uh, where are they from and what are they for? Uh, the one at the top um, is a uh, someone had sent me uh, an indie comic that they had done and um, this was still at the time when uh, when the wrist was uh, func functioning reasonably well and uh, it was it was it was good work it was good rendering could finish, uh, but what they um, didn't really seem to have figured out was depth of field. So what I did was I took one of the panels from uh, the story, uh, story or the comic book that they sent me and enlarged it and uh, basically took the tracing paper and traced their panel and then uh, changed it so that uh, the, the wall that you see on the left is um, in perspective. Uh, they had it as a flat wall with uh, the flat character next to it and then uh, the, uh, the cart and the, and the horse in, in the background but not 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 depth of field. Uh, it was everything was pretty much on the same level. So this was my way of saying, here, here, here's your core problem that I can see. That if you solve this, then then you'll you'll make uh, a great deal more progress. Um, so uh, I traced it onto the tracing paper because it was easier than trying to copy it by sight and then changed it on the tracing paper and then photocopied the tracing paper and sent that to them so that uh, they weren't sort of like freaking out going, what is this strange uh, uh, onion skin paper? It's, it's so thin. I don't understand what he's doing here. It's like, no, that's not what I want to get you to see. I just want you to get to see uh, here's your panel and here's my version of the panel. Here's the things that you need to work on. Uh, so consequently, because I sent them the copy, uh, I didn't need to send them the tracing paper, and it just uh, went into a general <laughs> tracing paper uh, hold, hold, holding uh, pen. Uh, the one below it, that was for uh, Tom Carr Awards here in town. Tom Carr Awards. Uh, did the uh, Cerebus Superfan Awards and also did um, the Howard E. Day uh, Awards, the Gene Day Awards for space. And one of the times that I was in there and um, going over what, what I needed in the way of awards from, uh, uh, from Tom, Tom was doing a an award that was a Conestoga Wagon Award or a Conestoga something or other, which is really big in Waterloo Region. Everything's everything's Conestoga. Um, he, he he needed uh, a drawing of a Conestoga wagon um, with a driver and horses and would I be willing to do that and it's like uh yeah do you have <coughs> excuse me do you have a picture of uh, the Conestoga wagon and, and a team of horses yes of course he did uh can I turn it into a graphic and it's like uh yeah Cross my palm with silver, Mem Said. Uh, how much is your customer willing to pay for, for this? And uh, he contacted the customer, and the customer said, uh, I'll pay whatever it was. And it's like, well, okay, I've already got the, um, the photograph of, of the wagon and the team of horses. I just need to turn it into a drawing. Uh, yeah, that's, you know, that's not terrible money for, for that time. 
period when uh, when I was still, you know, buying back uh, Gerhardt's uh, Aardvark Vanaheim share. And it's like, uh, yeah, any any time I can make another uh, 100 bucks or 200 bucks, uh, I'm going to go for it. So there you go. That's that's what those, that's what those two.